Hi everyone, welcome back to the Man on Man collaboration. We have some new additions in the description box. Please check them out, go over and show them some crafty love. Man on Man collaboration is for all of us paper crafters who can make a beautiful feminine card. Not so much with a guy card, right? Because we're always struggling kind of to make a cute masculine male card. So we decided to just do male cards for an entire year, right? We post on the 21st of every month. If you would like to participate, please send us an email. We'll get you added to it. If you don't want to be officially a part of it, you can just do the hashtag and you can be found that way. What this month's prompt is, is so simple. It's going to be complicated probably for me, is the color blue. That's it, blue. And so I am going to do something I normally don't do you're we're required to make two cards i'm going to do this card now i want to talk about this card because it's basic look at it it's a balloon stamped out do you not have a balloon stamp you probably do and there you go and you can write this portion on there i'm not going to put the bow on there but i am i am cheating i guess because i have all these names <laughs> but i'm not going to do that so i'm going to use this balloon and i pulled out this bow bunny paper because i want to make two cards two separate cards right all right so we got our ready to be stamped and what i am using i'm using this color blue london blue and we're going to just stamp on here. And instead of doing it two-toned, what I am going to do is I am going to do first, second, third generation stamping. So one solid, one, then the next, and the next, and the next like that. So hopefully it looks good. If not, I have the back side of the paper to use. All right. And we're going to leave this little middle section alone for now. I have this stamp on Cricut. <laughs> I have the stamp on the stamp block Cricut, which is gonna bug me. So let's go ahead and semi adjust it, right? Yep, that's better. So you see, I'm not even sure I like this blue. I don't think it's dark enough. Like, I don't think it's blue enough. So let me get a blue, blue. The true question is Mermaid Lagoon and London Blue the same blue? Because this may be more greeny blue. Let's see. Yeah. Whatever it is, we're sticking to it. We've committed. I may have to go back to London blue. Because I do love that color. I just need a... I guess because this is so dark, in my opinion, that... Huh? What's that saying? Halfway, six ways, dozen, or something like that. It's almost the same, right? Semantics. All right, so we're gonna gonna go right here, and all I'm gonna do is just ink up this little bottom portion. So I know that if you have stamps, you probably have a balloon stamp in. If you like these kind of things, you probably have a balloon stamp in your collection. If you don't have a hot air balloon stamp, then you probably have a regular balloon stamp, and you can do that in different colors, right? So, that would be no excuse not to have like a guy card using just balloons. But the color is blue. So, I wanted to try to find some girly girl paper pads to do the blue thing with. And I was going to do um, an Easter one. <laughs> but it was only one blue sheet of paper in there. I was like, because I was going to do a different, totally different setup. And then I was like, let me look and see. Because some people actually are equipped with other things besides feminine things. But I like these balloons so much, these hot air balloons so much that you probably could use hot air balloons on a lot of projects. But I am 100% sure that they have hot air balloons in other projects that females use. So I have swapped out. I am contaminating my ink. And I'm going to, I didn't even do the two right because I was just so focused on doing it like this. So focused. All right. I'm not getting even distribution on there, but that I'm not, um, 
going to cry wolf anything like that i'm just going to keep it moving because i am going to take a blue and brush the whole corners so i think it'll be fine even though brown would probably look good too now the one thing i'll tell you i'm not a huge fan in is layering i'm not a huge fan in wasting paper i know a lot of you are like what yeah i'm not that's not my thing so that's probably why I don't do layers very well, but I am going to pull out my dies, my nesting dies, and just make some layers and just use the frame of that because I feel like that would be mentally more beneficial for me. All right, so I have to chop these up and I'm going to put to my uncle and I hope I didn't ruin it. <laughs> Never trust someone to their own devices, right? So we're going to put that just like that. And on the card, it shows that they use the exact same ink. So we're going to go with that. And we're going to use the London Blue only because I want to use a permanent ink versus the Distress ink. I did distress the edges with Broken China, but... Um, yeah, look, look, nice nice very very nice <laughs> and i tried to go with this one even though it's not as blue it just has um usability i suppose and i use some collal glue um on here collal or collal I tried to look it up on Amazon and they don't have any. Everything but this glue comes up. I got it from Crafters Companion. I do like it. The only thing is it comes out really fast. So you have to be careful of that. I wanted to use glue versus tape just because um, I wanted to be able to get it down in case I needed to shift it over because this is very, very almost to the edge of these whereas this one I have a little bit more wiggle room the only problem with this one is I um, this is fairly thin too so I didn't you know the tape the tape will be better than the glue um, on there but I want to use the glue on that one as well so we'll see how that works out for us I was just looking at this one right here and I'm not I'm not liking it too much but I guess it's okay it's like faded in the wind All right let's see let's see if I can't fix it a little bit yeah I guess we're gonna have to we're gonna have to do but it's still a nice project it's still a nice card right so let's head it go ahead and glue this thing down this paper bow bunny paper is usually pretty decent so Hopefully I don't um, go crazy with the glue application and I can get it down. I've been messing with tape all morning um, on other projects, so it's nice to switch it up a little bit. Okay, so here we go. I like it. Let's see. And now I'm committed, right? I've burnished it down. Commit it. So the only problem with this project is the back has flowers on there. <laughs> Whereas the black back of this is solid, which is better. But I didn't like this stripe right here. So that's one of the reasons why I was trying to find a different card base. And Brandy didn't think that one all the way through. Well, I did, but I didn't, right? I didn't look on the back. It's... But that's okay. Um, I think giving a man flowers is great. I think we don't do that enough. Um, so let's make sure we have it going the right way. It's open. I like these stars so much. I really want to try to cut the white paper down some so you can see the border a lot better. But no luck on that one. So, yeah. What do y'all think? This is my project. I'm super happy about it. Please click on the description box. Check out the other creations from the wonderful crafters in this collaboration i want to say thank you all for watching until next time happy crafting